morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to another video with your girl Njagi. Woo! How do you like my look today? <laughs> about the restoration of the Holy Spirit. Eh? It means that it's a, it's a new dawn, it's a new beginning. The things of yesterday are gone. And so the Lord is doing new things. Hallelujah. <laughs> yesterday are gone and today is a new dawn which is why today i've decided to do this random video by the way i had not even planned on uh, on recording anything today but i feel as though i have i have you know i have something that i need to share with you guys because lately i've been asking myself why do people do the things that they do you know why do you pick a career or why do you why do you do charity work you know do you do it because it is something that you're willing to do or do you do it for what you're going to get out of it <laughs> okay that's enough of that it seems like this song just wants to keep you know repeating repeating and emphasizing on the first verse which i guess is even my point you know um so welcome back guys to another video and my thing is this um why do people do what they do you know if you're somebody who does charity work if you're somebody who volunteers why do you volunteer you know do you volunteer because of what you're going to get out of it either maybe people are going to get to know you or you know different doors are going to open for you and you know the lord is going to remember you and and make way for you or do you do it out of the willingness of your heart because lately I've come to, to realize that, you know, some people don't, don't, um, don't even, let me, let me speak mainly on salvation, you know. Some people give their lives to Christ with an expectation that no matter the trials they encounter, because salvation is a journey. And I believe I explained that in one of my earlier videos. Salvation means being salvaged from everything that is holding you back. All the chains in your life, all the chains in your lineage, all the chains in your society, in the environment that you live in, all the things that are holding you back from, first of all, discovering yourself and then purposing to know what your purpose of existence is so you can begin channeling your energy into the right thing. And so when we say the chains are being broken, those are the chains that are holding you back, you know, because if you're not aware of who you are, you can never be able to fully live out your and serve your purpose on this earth. 
And so going back to what I was saying about salvation, why do people give their lives to Christ? Do you give your life to Christ because of what you're going to get out of it? Because you know if you serve in the church or if you, if you serve the Lord, he is going to open doors for you, for you to get to where you think you are supposed to be. Even though necessarily it's not where you ought to be because it's not who you are. You know, if you don't know yourself, then there is no way you can purpose to pursue somebody else's identity and expect to live out to the full potential of that person's identity because you're not that person. You know, you cannot become me and I cannot become you. And until the day people will come to understand that, you know, in terms of salvation, when you give your life to Christ, don't give your life to Christ with the intention that you're going to become like somebody else who believes in, 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 the, in the almighty God. No, you give your life to Christ because that is what you have purpose to do. You know, because again, I have said this so many times and I still emphasize on it. Nobody can do a better job in this world at being you better than yourself unless you stop being yourself and you stop being yourself by not being aware of who you are. You know, you can't pursue somebody else's career or you cannot pursue somebody else's way of life, uh, livelihood, way of living and expect that you are going to outdo that person in being themselves unless that person is not aware of themselves. So that's why my, 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 my thing rather is this. Why do you do what you do? Do you volunteer in the community or in the society? Because honestly, you have a vision or you have a dream of helping those who are in need. And you know that is who you are. And that gift that you have inside of you. Because not everybody is compassionate. You know? So if compassion is a gift that is inside of you. And you know it is part of you. Nobody has to tell you or nobody has to, to try and sabotage it. You know, by making you get to a point where you, you, you no longer even desire to be compassionate. No, if that is who you are, then you ought to be confident in yourself and do what you're doing, knowing very well that it is who you are. And whether you get rewarded for it or not, to you it does not matter. Because at the end of the day, you know you did the right thing when it was time for you to do the right thing. And even though whoever you helped did not realize it or did not recognize it, to you it is okay with you. It is well with you because it is who you are. You know, you are not doing something because of what you're going to get out of it. You know, and I feel like this song pretty much, but this is a song by an, uh, known as Naomi Karanja. She's from Kenya. And the song is called, um, I think, Nyobeno, you know, this house, you know. And so this song pretty much preaches my whole, my whole um, point here today. Because why do you do what you're doing? Do you do it because of what you're going to get out of it? Or do you do something because it is out of the willingness of your heart? Because not every time you help people or you do something to help people, they are going to recognize you for it. So if recognition is what you're pursuing in salvation, then you're, 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 in the wrong, you're in the wrong field, you know? You're in the church for the wrong reason. You know, you can't expect that people are just going to, you know, to be receptive of you when your intention is wrong. And again, for you to have the right intention, you have to know who you are. You know, you cannot be doing charity work and expecting a reward out of it. Because human beings are human beings. They will, at the end of the day, some of them will let you down and they'll let you down miserably. So my question is this, why do you give your life to Christ? Or why do you volunteer to serve in whatever capacity that you're serving in? Is it because that is something that you know is a part of you and it does not matter whether people are receptive of you or not? Or is it something that you do because of what you're going to get out of it? And if you don't get the expectations that you are looking for, then you become, you turn around and actually start fighting your, your good work, you know, pretty much. You know, you start tearing down. Instead of building, now you become a destroyer. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should, I should, um... 
I should further th this discussion in a different in a different type of um maybe perspective or, or whatever but that is some that's a question that I've been asking myself lately because I've come to realize that some people do things for the wrong reasons you know you are not you know you don't help other people because it is what you really want to do you help them because of what you're going to get out of it and so if you don't get rewarded for what you know for the work that you've put in then you turn around and you begin destroying others which is the wrong reason is it's the wrong reason to be in the church you know don't give your life to Christ if your 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 intention is to become famous if your intention is to get money because sometimes you will be disappointed and you will be disappointed very badly you know the money you're looking for you're not going to get it the fame you're looking for you're not going to get it so at the end of the day you're going to put your energy actually so much of your time and energy into something that is not going to reward you because you are you are in it for the wrong reason i don't know maybe i should carry on this discussion but <laughs> What do you guys think, you know? Why do you do what you do? Do you do it out of the willingness of your heart because you know it is who you are in such a way that even if people are not receptive of you the way that you expect them to be, um it's not going to affect you because that is part of who you are. You know, in Swahili actually there's a saying that says tenda wema nenda zako, you know? It's not every time people are going to to celebrate you. It's not every time people are going to acknowledge what you're doing for them. And so if you do find yourself in that situation, what do you do? Do you continue doing what you're doing because that is who you are and that is what, you know, that is your calling in such a way that it does not alter. It does not alter your mindset, it does not matter your attitude. You know, it, it I mean it does not alter your attitude because it is who you are. So whether people are receptive of you or not, it does not change who you are. Anyway, guys, nyo beno ne kai horariri. Because for you to make it to the new, you know, to to make it to a new dispensation, you know, for a new glory to come upon your life, you have to let go of the things in the past. And sometimes you can give so much of your time and your energy to the wrong thing if you are not fully aware of yourself while expecting results of someone who is fully aware of themselves that does not work like that you know life does not work like that you have to know who you are you have to believe in yourself you have to be confident in yourself and you also have to believe in your creator in such a way that even when things are not working your, your way things are not making sense to you you don't turn around and become bitter towards your creator you don't become a distraction to others you continue to move on into the right path listening to the lord's voice and allowing him to continue to show you the way in good times and in bad times because for you to get to the new glory to your new glory and your new glory is separation from all the chains that have been holding you back because sometimes you can give so much of your time and energy to helping the wrong people you know but if that is the path which the lord has made for you then there is a reason for it you just have to continue believing in him and continue following that path for you to get to a different path where you are going to begin seeing or harvesting the fruits of your own labor you know but it takes time it takes time and it takes one fully understanding themselves you know There's this saying that says you have to remain connected to the source for you to enjoy the resource. In order for you to be able to use your phone, you have to charge your phone. And for you to charge your phone, you have to connect it to an outlet somewhere that is going to to um give um give your phone the power to operate. That is the same technique as human beings, you know? You have to be connected to who you are. you have to be attuned with yourself fully instead of wasting so much of your time trying to understand somebody else so you can become that person take that time to understand yourself so you can become you because there is no competition in being who you are at the end of the day 
you can only be the best version of yourself that you purpose to become. But if you purpose to pursue somebody else's life and make it your goal in life, then the day that person will become aware of themselves, woe unto you. Because you can never outdo somebody in becoming themselves. The same way nobody can ever outdo you in becoming you. So the loss is going to be on you. <laughs> sawa, sawa. Anyway, guys, I don't know. This is just a random video. I had not planned on doing this video, but it's a question that I've been asking myself a lot lately. And in the past couple of days, it is also something that I've come to realize that you know, it's, it's something that is affecting our society. You know, it's affecting, it's affecting um, people because, sorry, <laughs> there's somebody, I don't know if you can see them in the back, but I thought they were coming here. So anyways, um, this is something that I've realized. It's, it's affecting, it's affecting the society in such a way that people are struggling to find themselves. But if you don't dedicate yourself if you don't dedicate yourself to knowing yourself and purpose to achieve and become the best version of yourself, then you are not doing yourself any justice. So, I don't know. Let me know. Oh my God. Sorry, guys. There's some, there's somebody who is trying to get in touch with me here. And let me see. There's somebody who's trying to get in touch with me here. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. But um, anyways, let me know what you think. Um, drop down your comment in the... Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Drop down your... Please, can you stop it? Stop trying to reach out. I'm in the middle of recording. <laughs> anyway, guys, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Okay? <laughs>
pursue your own identity. Get to know yourself. Love yourself. Know who you are. Don't emphasize so much on becoming somebody who you know you are not. yesterday is gone. I am a new creation today and my goal is to become even a better creation tomorrow. The things of yesterday no longer dictate who I am today. And so woe unto you if you spend all your time trying to pursue the me of yesterday because you will never catch up with the me of today because the me of today is still working on a better me of tomorrow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.